Hello, my name is Tasha Berlini Olson. I'm the Director of Quality and Food Safety here at FiberStar. Today I'm going to review with you the FDA Dietary Fiber Qualification Criteria and how Citrify qualifies as a dietary fiber. Let's talk about what is an FDA dietary fiber and how it qualifies. In 2018, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration published new criteria to qualify products as dietary fiber. As a result, this impacted the nutritional labeling found on food and beverage products. The initial qualification was based on two different criteria. The first criteria entailed fiber defined as non-digestible, insoluble, and soluble carbohydrates with three or more monomeric units. It also included lignin, which had to be intrinsic and intact in plants. The second criteria required the fiber to be either isolated or synthetic, non-digestible carbohydrates with three or more monomeric units that was determined by the FDA to provide physiological effects that are beneficial to human health. At a minimum, at least one criterion must be met to qualify as a dietary fiber according to the FDA. In this instance, Citrify qualified under criteria number one. Under criteria number one, there are four important requirements that must be met. These include soluble and insoluble non-digestible fiber, monomeric unit composition, lignin that is intrinsic, and comes from a plant source. In relevance to Citrify, this means that Citrify is derived from plant material, contains soluble and insoluble fiber, contains three or more monomers, and is comprised of lignin that is both intrinsic and intact. So now that we understand the qualification criteria, let's talk about how Citrify met these requirements. Citrify is derived solely from citrus plant fiber containing pulp cells, juice vesicles, segment membranes, rag core, and peel. Citrify keeps its citrus in a natural state. There's no synthetic processing aids or chemical treatments. It's only subjected to the following. It's washed with water, heated, dewatered, sheared, and dried. Here you can see in the far left image, Citrify starts as a raw citrus fiber from a citrus fruit. In the second image, you can see that before Citrify is subjected to the clean and physical process, the cell material is condensed and intact. In the third image, you will see that after processing, the Citrify remains intact, but expands the surface area, which makes it highly functional in food and beverage products. This is a simplified schematic detailing the process from beginning to end. The Citrify, citrus fiber, starts as a byproduct from the citrus juicing industry. The citrus juice goes to one channel, while the fibrous cell wall materials go to FiberStar to be turned into Citrify. The final Citrify product is a flowable fiber that contains both soluble and insoluble fibers and proteins to create an expanded fiber matrix. A typical of analysis of Citrify shows that this natural ingredient contains about 76% total dietary fiber. This total dietary fiber consists of about 41% insoluble fiber and 35% soluble fiber. As you can see here, Citrify is a polysaccharide and classifies as a polymer which is made up of multiple monomers. This satisfies the three or more monomer requirement. The last criteria requires the ingredient to contain intrinsic and intact lignin. Now lignin is a class of complex organic polymers that form natural structure like the cell walls. Now due to the holistic physical or mechanical processes, Citrify's lignin is not broken by chemicals or enzymes. Instead, as you previously saw, Citrify's cell walls are only expanded to provide high surface area. Now, since Citrify qualifies as a dietary fiber, 
there are several implications. In addition to adding fiber, citrify's multiple functionalities can benefit foods like meats, bakery, sauces, dairy, beverages, and pet foods, just to name a few. So these functionalities include water holding, emulsification, and gelling, which can improve quality, texture, and cost savings, in addition to the nutritional profile. Citrify is clean label and natural. This plant-based ingredient can be labeled as citrus fiber, dried citrus pulp, or citrus flour, which all resonate well in the clean label and natural food markets. Citrify contributes fiber on packaging nutritional panels. This natural fiber can be used in conjunction with other fibers to assist in making fiber claims. So let's quickly review the key points of why Citrify qualifies as a dietary fiber according to the FDA. Citrify is derived from plant material. Second, this natural ingredient contains both soluble and insoluble fiber. Citrify contains three or more monomers. And lastly, Citrify contains intrinsic and intact lignin from a plant source. So thank you for learning more about the FDA dietary fiber ruling and how Citrify qualifies as a dietary fiber. If you have additional questions, please reach out to me by using one of the listed contact informations, or if you have food application related questions, please contact the food application team at tech support at Fiberstar Dot net. Again, thank you for your participation and we look forward to hearing from you.